Hi, welcome to Ultra Recap. After losing his family and destroying the city's flower festival, Ferdinand will have to fight against other bulls to face Spain's greatest bullfighter. Today we will recap the story of the 2018 movie Ferdinand. On the farm of Casa del Toro in the Spanish countryside lives Ferdinand, a calf completely different from his species, as the rest of the calves compete for strength like adult bulls. Ferdinand is an absolutely peaceful calf who refuses to fight, preferring to spend his time smelling flowers and taking care of the plants instead of fighting. One day, while Ferdinand is watering a flower grown in the arena, the winner's truck pulls up, leaving the other calves extremely excited. Ferdinand doesn't know what it's about since he is unsure. Upon being asked what this truck is, Valiente explains to him that it is the winner truck that carries the strongest bull when it becomes a star of the arena. The calves start dreaming about the day that they will become great bulls. Then they start to argue among themselves about which one of them will become the champion of the Casa del Toro. While they are arguing, suddenly Valiente knocks Bones to the ground, who nearly tramples on the flower, leaving Ferdinand worried. When Valiente realizes that Ferdinand cares about protecting the flower, he threatens him to crush the plant to force him to fight. However, Ferdinand starts to protect the flower with its body and refuses to give in to the his provocation. At that moment, the bullfighters finally arrive at the farm, then the adult bulls enter to the arena to compete for who will be taken to face El Matador in the bullfight. Inside the bullring, Ferdinand's father and Valiente's father fight each other, after some time of fighting, the bullfighters choose to take Ferdinand's father. Before his father leaves, Ferdinand asks him if there was something wrong with him because he doesn't want to fight in the arena like the others. But his father told him that when he got older he would change his mind when he became the greatest bull the arena had ever seen. He feels sad because even his father can't understand him, he says goodbye to him and goes back to the stable. On his way, he sees Valiente crushing the flower and leaving with his father. In the stable, Ferdinand spends several days waiting for his father to return. One night, while the employee is cleaning the place, Ferdinand hears the sound of the winner's truck and rushes to the entrance to greet his father, but he finds the truck empty. Imagining that his father has been defeated by El Matador, Ferdinand stands saddened, when the employee sees him and tries to lead him back to his place. Frightened, Ferdinand runs through the door while being chased by the staff and leaves Casa del Toro. Knowing that this is the only opportunity to live a new life, Ferdinand runs above the railroad and jumps into a wagon of a moving train. After many hours of traveling, the train finally stopped and Ferdinand got off the wagon. Lost, the little calf started roaming in the forest and it was raining, suddenly he heard a dog barking and tried to run away, but it ends up sliding down the valley. With the fall, Ferdinand loses consciousness. The next morning, Ferdinand wakes up in a barn to find Nina in front of him had come to visit him. At first, the little calf gets scared of her, but when he realizes that she also likes flowers, he feels safer and trusts her. Ferdinand leaves the barn with Nina and begins to explore the farm's fields and smell flowers he finds there. In this floral paradise, Ferdinand spends all day playing with Nina and helping Juan with the farm tasks. A few years later, Ferdinand grew up into a colossal bull and continued living with the family normally. As an adult bull, he continues helping Juan on the farm to produce flowers for the spring festival. But when the big day comes, Juan tells Nina that Ferdinand won't be able to go to the festival anymore because he's getting huge. Sad that his father refuses to take Ferdinand with them, Nina refuses to go to the festival, but Juan manages to convince her to take Paco in his place. After they leave, Ferdinand climbs to the top of the hill and wonders if he should disobey Juan's orders or if should he stay on the farm. After a period of hesitation, he finally decided to go to the Flores Festival, a classic Spanish spring event. When Ferdinand arrived in town, he began to smell the flowers as he searched for Nina, frightening everyone who saw him. After some time wandering the streets of the city, he found Nina in front of him and began to walk towards her. But halfway through, his head got stuck in some clothes on the clothesline. When he tries to break free, the clumsy bull ends up falling on his hamburger right on top of a bee's needle. In so much pain and he can't see because of the jacket in his eyes, Ferdinand runs around the place leaving people scared. In the midst of this confusion, he passes by a balloon stand and ends up with a baby stuck in his horn. Feeling excited, the child removes the jacket from Ferdinand's eyes, then realizes he's running toward a car and tries to stop, but he can't stop in time and ends up colliding with the vehicle. Causing the child to fly and fall into the string of the flower that prevents him from falling, 
Then Ferdinand quickly runs behind the child to catch him before he hits the ground. Ferdinand finally manages to calm down and stop running, but he makes such a big mess that everyone thinks he's aggressive and they call Animal Control, who arrived at the scene to try to catch him. When Paco sees them coming, he runs to Ferdinand and tells him he has to go back to the farm while he tries to distract the men. But they ignore the dog and continue chasing the bull. To escape from them, Ferdinand runs through the alleys then he enters a house to try to hide. But for his bad luck, the house he enters is practically a museum of dishes, full of ceramic utensils and extremely fragile glass. Even with his enormous size, Ferdinand tries to pass carefully inside the place so as not to drop any utensils. But as he tries to pick up all the ceramic pieces that are about to fall, the owner of the place ended up holding the oxtail thinking it was a feather duster and he started dragging him around the place while cleaning the dishes. But the bull's troubles are not over when the old woman tickles his nose while cleaning the place, this makes Ferdinand sneeze so hard that he made the old woman fly out the window and reveal his place. Surrounded on all sides, Ferdinand is caught by the animal control officers who put him in the cabin of a truck that will take him directly to Casa del Toro. When Nina saw that Ferdinand was being taken away, she ran towards him and tried to ask the officers to release him. But the officers ignored the little girl and took the bull, leaving her crying in despair. After spending all day on the road, Ferdinand wakes up when the truck arrives at Casa del Toro. As soon as he sees the bull statue, Ferdinand immediately understands where it is and panics, but ends up with his horn stuck in the grid of the truck. Seeing the animal's wrath, the owner of Casa del Toro, Mr. Moreno, orders his staff to bring in the goat to try to calm the bull. Suddenly a crazy goat named Lupe is thrown into the truck and starts talking to him, but because it talks so much and doesn't stop talking, it ends up making Ferdinand even angrier. After several attempts to free his horn, Ferdinand finally succeeded and got out of the truck cabin, falling over the goat. Standing up, Ferdinand helps Lupe get up and asks her to help him, but the crazy goat thinks the bull is asking her to be his coach and starts analyzing him. Excited to start his training, Lupe takes him to the arena to introduce his student to the other bulls, but everyone gets to know Ferdinand as soon as he sees him. The other bulls are so impressed by Ferdinand's size, suddenly Valiente appears and begins to bully him, as he did when they were small. However, Ferdinand is not interested in provocations and completely refuses to fight. After seeing his old mates, Lupe takes Ferdinand to his place in the barn to sleep. In the middle of the night, three hedgehogs infiltrate the place and steal Ferdinand's things. During the robbery, Lupe sees them and begins abusing them, causing a fight between them. To stop the chaos and be able to sleep peacefully, Ferdinand holds Lupe and lets the hedgehogs take food, and helps them reach the window. When Don approaches, Ferdinand decides he will come home at all costs, so he leaves the stable and walks toward the fence. When he tries to get past the fence, he is severely electrocuted as soon as he touches it. As soon as Ferdinand falls to the ground, three crazy horses appear and start laughing at him. When seeing them, he thinks they can help him and asks them how to cross the fence, but the horses start to offend him and they tell him if he tries to cross again they will call out to humans. The next morning, Lupe woke up early, as he was leaving the barn, and heard the staff saying that El Primero was coming to Casa del Toro. Excited, she quickly returns to the stable to wake all the bulls up to tell them the news, but during the excitement she ends up stomping on Ferdinand's tail who kicks her hard and crashes into the wall hard. At the same moment, Mr. Moreno goes outside to receive El Primero while his employee releases the bulls. When he arrived at Casa del Toro, El Primero told Mr. Moreno that he had come to choose his best bull for his last battle before retirement. When the workers finished preparing the animals, the matador goes to the terrace of the farm then the workers open the gate for the bulls to enter but Ferdinand refuses to enter the arena, since he is in front of others he closes the path to them. To open the way, Valiente hits Ferdinand in the back, causing him to quickly enter the arena and be followed by the other bulls who begin to fight among themselves. But one of the staff is unable to get out in time he is chased by a strange bull named Makina, which was created in the laboratory. While Makina holds the man with her horns, Valiente hits Ferdinand's head and invites him to a duel, when Guapo suddenly appears and knocks Valiente to the ground. Knowing that Guapo does not trust himself, Valiente rises and challenges him to show his full potential to El Primero, but Guapo ends up feeling too pressured and falls in the middle of the field. Worried about his friend, Ferdinand rushes to him to know if he's okay. Meanwhile, Bones bumps into him, veering to hit Makina who throws the employee away. 
When El Primero saw the confusion in the arena, he told Mr. Moreno that these bulls were unsuitable for this great event. But after insistence from Mr. Moreno, El Primero decides to give the bulls one last chance but says that if he doesn't get the stronger bull, it will destroy the reputation of the Casa del Toro throughout the country, this will lead to bankruptcy of the farm. As they leave the arena, the other bulls start arguing with Ferdinand because he made them all feel embarrassed. But while they were arguing, they heard Guapo screaming from outside then they came out to see what was going on. Guapo gets into the truck celebrating that he has been chosen by El Primero. But when the truck's door shuts, Bones realizes it's not the winner's truck, but the slaughterhouse truck. At night, Ferdinand thinks of Nina in the farm suddenly he hears someone crying. When he looks to the side, he sees Bones crying for Guapo and spending all night with him trying to comfort him. The next morning, Ferdinand leaves the stable and finds that El Primero watching the bulls training but can't stop thinking about Guapo's fate. Realizing that the bull is distracted, Lupe tries to motivate him to train. But while Lupe was talking, Ferdinand saw a rabbit appear in front of the barrel that Angus was attacking and ran quickly to try to stop him. Without understanding what Ferdinand wants, Angus continues to run toward the barrel forcing Ferdinand to push him away. At high speed, Ferdinand tries to stop before he crushes the rabbit, but cannot stop in time, and eventually uses his horns to dodge the little rabbit, who faints from fear. After hitting the barrel of water, Ferdinand saw the rabbit unconscious and then run towards him and try to rescue him. When he sees what Ferdinand has done, Lupe goes to him and starts fighting with him to focus on fighting, but Ferdinand insists that he doesn't like to fight. In an attempt to change his mind, Lupe tells Ferdinand that bullfighting is like dancing, but when they hear it, the trio of horses appears again and starts making fun of the goat saying that the bulls don't know how to dance. Determined to prove that they are wrong, Ferdinand approaches the fence and starts a supreme tap dance. When they see Ferdinand dancing, the horses mock his movements and respond with a group dance. When they're done, Angus sees Ferdinand alone against three horses and asks Lupe to play the harmonica in order for him to dance as well. The horses respond again with a group dance and finish it with a heart-shaped drawing of their bodies as Ferdinand and Angus watch with stupid faces. When it's the bull's turn again, the hedgehogs ride loudspeakers on the electric fence and Bones joins the battle with break dance steps. After the confrontation became even, the bulls and horses start a street dance competition, then Makina decides to enter the competition and challenges the horse's leader to a duel with his square backside. With Makina entering the confrontation, the bulls insult the horses quite easily, after learning that they are losing, the horses start fighting among themselves until they end up touching the fence and being electrocuted. After the battle, the bulls celebrate the victory, but Valiente goes to them and reminds them that the bulls who do not fight their fate are always in the slaughterhouse. Knowing this is not true, Ferdinand argues that they can be free to do whatever they want, but Valiente replies that if Ferdinand was really free, why was he sent back to Casa del Toro? Influenced by what Valiente said, Bones and the others left Ferdinand with Lupe and returned to training. While they are talking, the bull says to Lupe that he will run away tonight and that he will take her to meet Nina, which makes the goat very excited. While thinking of a way to escape, Ferdinand goes to the hedgehogs and asks them for help to carry out his plan. According to them, the only way to escape was to get out of the door of the house where the humans staying. With no options, Ferdinand jumps out of the window straight into the garage, but falls right on top of El Primero's car. Upon hearing a noise coming from the garage, the employees walk to the source of the sound, and to prevent Ferdinand from being caught, the hedgehogs start dancing for the humans. After the hedgehogs scare the staff, Ferdinand silently moves through the house, then he sees a picture of his father hanging on the wall with his horns. Ferdinand looks up, sees many other pictures and horns hanging on the wall, then understands that this is the fate of all the bulls fighting in the arena. At this moment, the hedgehogs manage to open the exit door, but Ferdinand decides to go back to warn his friends that the arena is just another slaughterhouse. Valiente refuses to believe it and then pushes him into the arena challenge him to a fight. When Ferdinand sees Valiente's condition, he refuses to fight him and tries to calm him down. But Valiente refuses to listen and begins forcing him until he breaks his horns. At that moment, El Primero, who was watching everything from the balcony, chose Ferdinand as his rival in Madrid, while Valiente was taken to the slaughterhouse. Afraid of what happened, Lupe says they should leave this place now. But Ferdinand tells him that he won't leave unless everyone goes with him, including Valiente and Guapo. Knowing that horses would alert humans upon seeing them outside, 
Hedgehogs lure traders to the stable where they set a trap and left them trapped. With the horses out of the game, Makina eats the high voltage fence, then the bulls run to close the farm door. Now with the way clear, Ferdinand runs out of the Casa del Toro and heads towards the slaughterhouse where he finds Valiente inside a cell. Determined to save him, Ferdinand removed the cell's iron door and then tried to persuade her to escape. But Valiente says his order is over and refuses to leave. Meanwhile, Ferdinand hears Guapo's voice calling for help inside the slaughterhouse then he decides to save him. When he gets inside the slaughterhouse without noticing he passes through the infrared rays that activate all the machines. As Guapo's crush approaches, Ferdinand pursues him and tries to catch him well, but to no avail. Suddenly Valiente appears out of nowhere and places an iron bar in the middle of the press machine, saving Guapo at the last moment from becoming minced meat. However, the machines continue to operate and take Guapo elsewhere, but as they watch their friend being led away, another hook passes by and grabs their horns. This way, they are all taken to the refrigerator which freezes them and drops them into a conveyor belt that takes them to the garage, the bulls rush on the belt and end up outside the factory, straight into the garbage conveyor. Together, they go down the hill at high speed until they collide with the winner's truck, all this noise ends up waking up the farm employees, forcing them to flee quickly. To escape as fast as they can, Lupe and the hedgehogs get into the driver's cabin while the bulls ride in the back. As they leave the farm, the rabbit reappears in front of them and faints from fear when they are about to run over him, which forced Ferdinand to carry him and put him in the back of the car. While the humans are chasing them, Machina makes use of the electricity she received when she devoured the fence and rubs her paws, making a kind of defibrillator that instantly wakes up the rabbit. Finally, after they reach Madrid, but after stopping for hours in city traffic, they have been identified, when he sees the pursuers, Ferdinand has the idea to run away along the tracks as he did when he was younger, but the staff still followed them toward the station. As soon as they reach the train station, Ferdinand carries one of the hedgehogs over one of the carriages to find out where the train is, only to discover that it has already left. In an attempt to get to the train, the bulls unite to push a wheelbarrow until it picks up speed enough to dock with the train. After Ferdinand realizes that humans are still hunting them, Ferdinand asks everyone to climb and he returns to distract the humans, but ends up in captivity. After catching Ferdinand, the staff takes him to the arena in Madrid to take part in the big event, some journalists are reporting the event live, Juan sees the bull on TV and goes out of the house with Nina to try to save him. When it's time for a competition, a woman from the audience throws a flower, once El Primero enters the ring, he grabs the flower, smells it, then throws it to the ground. At that moment, El Primero signals to his men to open the door, and Ferdinand enters quite calmly into the arena. Face to face with the bull, El Primero tries to seduce him, but when he realizes that Ferdinand does not want to fight, the bullfighter orders his men to strike the bull with spears, while escaping the humans, Ferdinand runs through the arena while El Primero dodges him. In a moment of carelessness, the bullfighter's red fabric ends up getting caught in the bull's horns blocking his vision. Without seeing anything, Ferdinand struggles to remove it, while El Primero tries to recover the fabric, leaving him feeling humiliated. After several attempts, the matador finally manages to grab the canvas, but Ferdinand pulls him back causing him to fall just above his back directly. With El Primero on the bull's back, Ferdinand begins to struggle to knock him to the ground, causing El Primero to feel an even greater humiliation. Enraged, El Primero returns to the arena with two spears and prepares to attack Ferdinand, but the bull manages to dodge him again. After being repeatedly humiliated by the bull, El Matador finally manages to hit Ferdinand, who grabs the bullfighter by his shoulder and prepares to attack him. When Ferdinand realizes he's trampling on the flower thrown by the woman, he remembers what he is and eventually calms down, releasing El Primero. At that moment, the Matador is slowly moving away, while Ferdinand smells the flower. But soon El Matador returns with a sword and prepares to take it down, while Ferdinando sits down and refuses to respond, all the audience begins to demand that El Primero let the bull live, because of the public's love for him, El Primero greets Ferdinand and leaves the arena. With the fight over, Nina arrives at the arena and finally meets Ferdinand, who is greeted by the audience with flowers. At that moment, the other bulls came to the rescue of Ferdinand, but they immediately realized that the event was over and the big flower-loving bull managed to win. After the battle of the arena, Mr. Moreno abandons the Casa del Toro and hands Lupe Ferdinand and the others to live with Nina and Juan, allowing them to know love and freedom for the first time.
So what do you think about this movie, tell us in the comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel to watch more movies recaps, see you next time.